This is a video of Freeform Modeling Plus version 10 demonstrating how to easily add sculptural detail that cannot be created in your typical CAD to a parametrically represented model. It bridges the gap between the organic limitations of CAD and Freeform's 3D sculpting. So this is the Freeform Modeling Plus uh, version 10 interface and what I'm going to do is import a previously created step file design that was created in Rhino um, and then I'm going to import a previously created sculptural design that was done in freeform. As you can see we have a bear sculpture design on top of a baby's bottle and what I want to do is I actually want to put this bear design into the uh, the solid model that is the baby's bottle um, but since we have two different types of geometries um, we need to stitch this into the model and since this type of model is not done in CAD uh, we need to do it in freeform and then stitch it uh, into this model afterwards. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating a, a trim line for this model and I'm actually going to delete the inside of this surface on the baby's bottle and thicken it with an overbuild to a voxel geometry. And the reason why we've thickened it um, with an overbuild is so that we have um, a substantial amount of geometry with, a, with an overlap so that when we do create a surface we have some overlap to trim and then stitch uh, the surfaces into the model of the baby's bottle. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using my tug tool to actually push some of the overlapping geometry that we don't need um, into the thickened part so that we don't have any excess uh, data on the back side. And once that is completed we can hit the apply button uh, on the Dynabar and that will apply those changes. Uh, once we've done that, we want to actually combine the thickened part into the design of the bear so that we have one piece. And we can do that easily through the combine into boolean technique on the object list. Um, and that's a very simple function in freeform as opposed to doing booleaning and shelling and things like that. In CAD can be very difficult and frustrating um, because of the innate problems with those types of functions with surface and solid data. But since we're working with a completely different geometry called voxels, um, those types of functions work very well uh, in freeform. So right now, I'm actually um, using my smooth tool to paint the seams um, of this design so that we can blend in the edges and give it a nice rounded radius. Um, this is kind of a uh, replacement for a fillet tool in some cases um, and it's used to get rid of unwanted data. In this case it works really well for blending in uh, the seam. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my edit and stitch solid tool and I'm going to use the original trim line curve and I'm going to select the geometry of the voxels um, and then hit stitch. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring up our auto surfacer module um, which will allow us to take the voxel geometry which is representing the bear um, import it as a mesh file and then we're going to surface this mesh file to nerve geometry so that we can stitch it back into the uh, baby's bottle design and this is a very useful um, application because freeform is really the only tool that allows you to work with voxel geometry, nerve geometry and mesh geometry and these are all um, useful geometries but they maintain shapes differently. Obviously you can see with the voxel geometry the bear is very sculptural. Something like that cannot be created in CAD. Um, so doing it in free form and then being able to surface it and stitch it into one closed piece uh, is, is invaluable. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually um, surfacing this model in, in the auto surfacer and what I've done is I've selected a number of surfaces with a number of control points and those can all be changed to, to get uh, the auto surfacer to surface the way you'd like. Um, and then when I hit save, what it's going to do is it's going to import this surface model now back into freeform. And it's going to automatically trim it based on the curved trim line that I created at the very beginning of this demo. And now you can see I've taken that bare design and surfaced it and trimmed it and stitched it all back into this bottle so that we have one closed solid. 